Hello, welcome everybody. I am Nice. It is time for the coaching. <clears throat> I'm going to be coaching. And remember, uh, patreon.com slash Nice University. Uh, cheap explanations of League of Legends concepts, everything you need to know about League. Get your Nice University degree now. Okay, why don't you tell me what your goal with the game is? Um, right now, I'm just trying to get the plat. Um, maybe in the future, go to Diamond. But... um. Uh, I've gone up to like gold one. I've 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 already reached play like season nine, but I haven't been able to do it again. I haven't really played uh, ser seriously for the last like two or three years. Mm -hmm. Um, or at least trying. I've I've just been trying to reach uh gold just to get the the rewards. But now I actually want to climb, and uh, been having trouble with kind of getting to that. You know, breaking that uh barrier to to plat. I guess I'm getting gatekeeped. Gate capped. Let me see here. Yeah. Uh, They're gatekeeping me from plat. If I, had to, if I had to take a guess, it's going to be a mechanics thing. Uh, you're playing a champion that's heavily weighted on whether or not you can perform mechanically. If you're struggling to get into plat with this many games as Callista, I'm already kind of side-eyeing this because you've put volume in. It's not like you haven't played. And muscle memory is a hell of a drug, so let me see. I want to see what you do, yeah. though. Yeah, I think um, with Callista, I I would say my mechanics are are, are decent. I I think it's uh, later in the game where I'm actually supposed to uh, kind of do something with my lead where I where I struggle at. Like I have tr uh, trouble transferring my lead into like a win. Sometimes you will see some of my games I have like high kills or or uh, uh, like uh, I have the highest like gold in the game, and I just have kind of have trouble um, winning the game at the end or I'll make a mistake that'll kind of kill me. So I think my, my macro is where I'm lacking. We'll see about that. <clears throat> Let's see here. You see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay. What's your build usually? I uh, usually go Bork, and then um, I'll build Boots and uh, Gwinzos. And then after that, I'll probably build, depending, I might build uh, Kraken Slayer. I think Kraken Slayer is uh, a little bit strong right now. So. Is this a loss? Uh, this yeah, is that, a loss. that's a yeah. loss. That's a loss, yeah. That's uh, I a also, loss. I think, uh, I think another issue is I have... Uh, a big like i have uh some mental booms i i, I guess you could say i, I do tilt in, in these games for certain things i, I don't tilt that at that play i, I didn't tilt at my uh at lula i think she was playing fine but, wait 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 wait. but <clears throat> question why is, let's talk about this mechanically right here okay why do you think you why do you think you should be flashing the way that you're flashing here i was trying to get out of range of Braum so he wouldn't stun me yeah, I get that, but look at the wave. Oh, yeah. Why are you okay. running away from the fucking wave? You should be like always flashing towards any. This is this is the better dis. Like anytime you're in a situation like this, it's always better if you're gonna flash somewhere and run. Flash by the wave. Never flash away from the wave. Gotcha. Yeah, I was only thinking uh, to make some distance. That's the only thing going through my head. Mm, let's see here. Yeah, it looks real. It looks incredibly goofy to be flashing away from a giga wave after you've built it. You obviously know that you want to go in on level two. You seem to get that, but you're not seeing that. Like you go for this fancy outplay, you should always be looking at a big wave and moving towards that. That way, he doesn't hit you with that Q ever either. Um... I cracked on the pressure. <laughs> Yeah, the wave sucked for you here, so. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't trying to fight here, I don't think. Yeah, no, this is ugly. All right, so let's go back in time. <clears throat> let's talk about this. Okay. So, right off the jump, Do you think that going for this, let me, let me, 
Do you do this type of play often? What I just see here? Is this like a common play? Just fucking um, flipping I, it I, and going near tower and like trying to get some sort of goofy kill with the wave state like this? Uh, not usually near tower, but I do always try to... I, I'm that glad that you're trying to kill people, but what I'm asking you is... The reason I'm doing this is because, look, you here you are. Mm -hmm. You feel like you need to go for this kill. What I'm, what I'm thinking when I look at this is I'm thinking like, he doesn't have to really go for the kill to pressure the Lucian. So like, here, watch. Okay. Bam. Bam. Auto. Q backwards. And then I would probably just rend from there, I think. Because you, you're going for this kill... You don't need to go for the kill to kill him later, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. Like, you're you're going for this, like, wacky wild all-in, but look at the wave. This is the problem with these types of all-ins, is, like, they get messy, and then if you're wrong, look what happens. He misses yeah. nothing. He's, like, the goat now. He's gonna be ahead of you the rest of the game. He literally misses jack shit if you're wrong. So, so it's better to. I'd rather just take a take a trade. Time. Okay. Just take a trade and be happy that you're you've got him on on the ropes under tower with like no health, because if you go back and it's you're no threat of ever being all in. Like once he has this kind of health, and you just you you say you just like rend off of this, you like queue backwards and rend or whatever, right? Instead of whatever the fuck you did here, where you tank the tower. If you just rend off of this. Bro, this is great for us. We just push this under tower. We could smack the tower. We could try to draw a gank. Like, we're very happy with the situation. But when you full send like this, it's not a reliable all in, is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. Now, but, uh, I... counterpoint. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, you're good. Counterpoint would be look at this. When you're, when you're playing Callista and you've got somebody on the ropes. I get that, like, you feel like you need to all in, but I would rather, if you're going to do this kind of all in, I would rather you at least have the wave crashing instead of. This is the worst type of all in, in my opinion. It's because this is a freeze for them. So if you're wrong, you've essentially just, like, lost. Even though you get the kill, you've lost. And you can see it as soon as the, as soon as he returns, watch his XP and look at yours. Do you see your XP at the bottom left? See that? Yeah, I'm uh, level two and he's already level three. He's a full level ahead of you. Look at Lulu's XP. She's, I mean, she's got a level two or she's got a level over, but it's a Lulu, right? Do basically, you yeah. reverse funneled your support. So yeah, now that happened a lot this game. Yeah, so like now it's just really awkward because your champion's not very good with a level disadvantage, in my opinion. I mean, no, no champion is, but you really don't want it to be an ADC like Callista, who's like supposed to snowball. Yeah, and I, I guess it's like me also wanting to get that that snowball early. Um, uh, and when I hit them with like an auto attack, and I can see the the rent stacks, I'm thinking like, oh, I gotta keep stacking these, and then I I can probably kill them if I get enough of them, you know. So. It's kind of like but, a, a trap. But the noise. thing is, the thing is, you have to realize that when you have somebody on the ropes under tower, that's completely acceptable. So they have no sustain either. That's completely acceptable to not, like, you don't have to push the issue. You really, you're okay with Lucian sitting under tower with 20%, 30% HP. How's he going to farm reliably? It sucks. Feels terrible for him. And you have cleanse, yeah. so if they ever go all in, they, they just die. This is why we have to be careful with these kind of all ins, because what I think. Is this is just like I said, this sets you back to the Stone Age right off the jump. Your lane has to dominate. You're playing Callista. Now when you get ganked, now you have him on the ropes, like I said, but here's the issue. You don't have any of your sums now. You guys have jack shit because you full sent. And here you honestly probably shouldn't even be trying. I mean, I get why you think you can do it, but you you can't just do it. You can't just hit tower here versus this. This game's changed a lot. When the wave crashes under tower, the wave, the minions don't help you anymore. You understand? Yeah. So you just need to fall back. So at that point, just crash the wave, fall back, or do you think I could just freeze the wave? 
Well, what well, I'm I mean, saying, what favorite. I'm saying, what I'm saying is that like, you're taking this loopy trade, <clears throat> and to you, it's like, well, I'm strong here. But that's the thing. This is the same situation from before, except now you don't have sums. Like, watch. If I go back in time, this is what I wanted before. Watch. It's the same situation. If you rend here and pull back, he's stuck under tower. Now a gank comes, you have all sums, you win. You're doing the same yeah. exact play. You're doing this play, you're going all in, when in reality, you'd be in the same situation you died. You basically die on the situation later, is what I'm trying to explain. So it's like, where's this right here? You understand what I mean, though? Yeah. So I get the Callista's like all in heavy, but we need to balance because you say, okay, mechanically, <clears throat> mechanically, I'm good. I, I'm thinking like mechanically, you're cheesing. No offense. Callista's just a, a cheese lane. So like you've got to balance the times that you go all in with the times that like you're comfortable with just a small advantage. So that, I mean, in my opinion, you kill your early here. So that's not a great early. Um, even though you get fed, I'm not thrilled about it. How about this one? Because just because you like Ooga Booga trade, uh, that doesn't mean you're good at the game. You know what I mean? Yeah. Callista's going to win every single trade early, so we've got to make sure that these trades make sense. Uh, so you get the Yumi this time. This is a good match for us. We got Yumi. Um, oh, God, I, I hated this game. I hated this one. <laughs> why? This, is, this isn't that bad. You've got double... You've, uh, I mean, you got a lot of combat sums to use. Yeah, no, I, I, like, I like Yumi, but um, you, you'll see here. I mean, right off the rip, I could tell that you were lazy. You didn't leave base. And then you get penalized yeah. for it. You're facing a Nautilus Ash Swain. You have to get out of base and make sure you don't get cheesed. Uh, you know, what I like to do, if I'm really concerned about my... You know, if I'm concerned about getting invaded, you have two options. Uh, in this case, where's Talon going? He's going topside. So my question is, why are you even here? Why are you even... What's You know, what's the point? This guy's going on the top side. He's telling you that he wants to start top or something. You see this? Yeah, it's a lack of attention to detail. Right, like the right. <clears throat> so let's talk about why there's no attention to detail here. Game starts at zero, zero seconds, obviously. People say that shit all the time as coaches. Um, and I don't completely disagree. I, I will tell you that if I looked at this comp and I was playing here and I'm playing Hecarim, I am hyper paranoid about early. So you're going to hear me pinging. I'm going to be pinging this to guard. I'm going to be pinging this to guard. And I'm very, very likely as a jungler. Now, this guy isn't this guy isn't like high IQ or anything. But I know me personally as a jungler. I'm going to actually shift up here. Because I, I am so convinced that an invade is going to probably happen. That I'm going to cheat this way. And if I see them invading, I'm just going to start over here. Fun fact. Yeah. Because look at your team. What can you do about an invade? You know the answer. Um, yeah, I'm just going to die. <laughs> not, not much, right? Not much. You don't have yeah. like a Thresh or like a Blitzcrank. And, you know, maybe Silas, you guys could hold up if Silas was here and you guys were all stacked. But it's, you know, it's Yumi Callista. It's not great. Talon's not great early, in my opinion. Talon's only great at two or beyond. Um, so, yeah, I think... You know, you kind of fall asleep here and you're guarding nothing. Um, if you want to guard nothing, a better way to guard nothing would be something like... I'll show you. There's some options you can use. You don't have to guard either, but if you, you know, if you... You should want to guard. I'd be kind of a shit coach if I told you you don't guard. But look, if you stand here, you can do this and just like kind of dance around here on the corner. That way if you see Nautilus, you just fall back. Because he's not going to hook through this wall. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you kind of like angle him here. You can guard this without wa wasting a ward. <clears throat> you can also go right as you leave base. You can just come out and just drop your ward right here and then back up. You'll never show on the map and they'll never have any reason to know that it's warded. So you literally sprint out and drop the ward and go like this and go around to your lane. Mm -hmm. And you would avoid all of this because <clears throat> you're guarding nothing. Uh, this is where I use the active shooter metaphor. You a military guy at all? Yes. 
So I'm ex-military. I'm in the army or I was in the army. I was in Afghanistan for a year. When I sit down at like restaurants and shit, I like to see the door. Okay. This is what my, my metaphor is. It's kind of a fucked up metaphor, but it is what it is. There's always a chance that someone comes to the door and shoots your ass, right? It's a small chance, but it could happen, right? I like to know yeah. that I'm about to get shot. So the idea is that in this instance, you're sitting next to the door with your back facing it. You know that there's a way that someone could come in, but you don't give a shit. That's a problem. You know it's pot or you should. If you don't know this is possible, you're jacked up. You should be sitting in a way to cover both areas. If I use this, if I extend this metaphor further, if I wanted to guard properly, I would probably be sitting right here. Something like this. Right? Or something yeah, like I, this. Or something yeah, like this. Just, uh, I usually just autopilot to like the try or the right. or that bush that I'm in right now. So Autopilot yeah. at level one <clears throat> versus stuff like this is bad. Now, if the enemy comp was like... I mean, honestly, autopilot in general is bad. There's a reason why when you watch pro play, everybody's guarding something. Now, I'm not saying you should... In pro play... You stand here, your teammate would stand here, and then everything's hunky-dory and you don't get invaded. Solo queue is about fixing your teammates' mistakes. All solo queue is, is your teammates, you're, you're sailing a boat, you're on a boat, right? And you're like, yo, guys, you guys want to take a boating trip? And then one of them's just like, hey, I'm just going to keep poking holes in this boat while we're sailing. And you're like, well, that's kind of shitty. I don't really like that too much. And he's like, ah, well, it's too bad. I'm on this boat, buddy. So plug the holes or don't. That's what solo queue is. Your job is to cover things. Your team's all on autopilot. No one seems to care that there's a Nautilus and a Nash level one. I heard, did, was there any pings? There is no pings whatsoever. This map was completely quiet. You guys were all on this boat while it was sinking at level one. You didn't realize no one pings, guard anything. You autopilot, go to a bush. Well, if you weren't on autopilot, you would know you're getting invaded. If your team wasn't on autopilot, they would have pinged you off, right? They would have said, hey, what are you doing? There's so many things that you could fix right off the beginning in terms of standing, positioning, pinging, all that. This is why I get on people about this shit because it kills you. Go ahead and start queuing up, by the way, in case this VOD goes long because I want to get two games in before I have to go to the doctor. But make sure you yep. share, your, uh, share your screen as well and we'll go through the VOD and then... <clears throat> Once you're in the loading screen, let me know, okay? And we'll cover this while we're waiting for a game. Okay. So you get caught up. You throw away uh, a double kill into Ash right away. All right. So here's the, the bad... I mean, the bad news is obviously that. The good news is you can still win. Um, it's just going to be hard as hell. Nautilus has no sums. And Ash... Oh, and you missed the XP. Oh, yeah, you're done, so. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're fucking screwed. <laughs> You should just hard trade. You should hard. Thing. You should be hard trading though right now and just say fuck it. I don't like that you are even running here. I would have just hard traded. Yeah, I was a little scared of the Nautilus hook. I wouldn't be. You just go. Just flip it. Flip the game on this now, because you know he has no sums. Just flip it. Just start stacking rend and go. The open's so bad. You have to go and try to get the shutdown right now. It's not going to get any easier. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You just have to flip it because there's no, there's just, le there's legitimately no way you come back without flipping it here. I'm trying, like, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Mm. Wait, I thought, why, I thought, yeah. Why were you like, picking, why were you picking talent, bro? Because <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, uh, <laughs> I tilted on this one. I was like autopilot and I was like, and then I, 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 you can see like when they're invading, I'm like, I'm like, oh shit, like, wait, like, Talon's not here, like, what? And then I'm like, realizing that I'm about to die. And then that's what, like, pissed me off. But yeah, um, then now that's you why see. I them, but... Now you see. This, yeah. you should be flipping the game on this, though. Seriously. Just flip it yeah, now. I was, uh, <clears throat> um, at that point, I was kind of thinking, like, okay, I have, I have a Yumi, and, like, Yumi, all she can do is kind of, like, post. I was trying to see if I could, like, nah, post it down. See if I, could... I target ping. I target ping Ash, and I int. <laughs> I mean it. What are you going to do? You're going to spend the whole game under tower. What is... You're not going to be able to play the thinking, video game anymore. I was thinking, uh, kind of try to... Farm, farm, farm uh, and hold, scale hold, up? No, hold, hold the farm and then wait for a gank. So. Nah. 
Nah, not versus not versus Swain, Kale, and fucking a bot lane that's already 2-0. I'm good. I'm gonna just flip the game. Yeah, you already fucked it. Gotcha. You fucked it already. And yeah, yeah, it's Jack. Listen, I know it's it's selfish as fuck. You're playing Callista. Your only window to kill them it just happened. That's it. Because the minute that he, the minute that that Nautilus like gets the push happening and they gets ignite back, you're never winning anyways. Period. You'll yeah, never actually, win. Um... I think at some point I kind of just went all in on her. Like when I saw them go after Yumi, like if you see a little bit further, I think it's my like my first kill. Um, Yumi gets pulled because she keeps jumping out and trying to harass them, but um, she gets you pulled in. Push, I just eh? all in the Ash. Yeah, the yeah. Ash. You need to get that kill on the Ash because you you are able to win still, even though we're not dead yet. Now look, see this is what I meant with sums. Yeah. That CC from from Nautilus is no joke though. Like I kept, she, he kept just stopping me. Oh, yeah, I know. All right, so there, there. I yeah. in her, but I, I, I die. But yeah, <clears throat> it's GG. You should have went at level one, in my opinion. The minute that they walked up, that was illegal. Your champion, like I said, your champion is very strong level one, so. Because she goes to buy, yeah. right? So you get prio. That's the idea. She goes to buy. She goes to buy. And right here, you should just be going ham on the wave right away. And just clearing as many as you can. Because she's going to be cocky and think she wins. And you're just going to run at her. Gotcha. Like, look how far back you stay. And you keep trying to pull away from it. And then he misses. Then he misses hook. Yeah, yeah. You just yeah. I don't. I think in your head. Are, how are we looking on a uh, queue, by the way? Uh, twenty seconds to load screen. Uh, share share your screen. Yeah, I think in your head you're like, oh, I've already died, and she has an item, so I can never fight her. But I I have the opposite reaction. I'm just like, well, I entered, and I know they have no sum, so let's flip the game right now, before she starts stacking up you know, advantages on me and before the jungler gets down here and, you know, everybody's going to expect me to play passive here because I died early, right? 